All right, happy Friday. Um, I want to just remind everyone before we get started that next Friday is conference, so we don't have a team coffee chat. Um, but I hope if you're listening to this call now or you're hopping on or you catch the replay later, go to your calendar and block off the time for all the conference events. If you're going to be in Texas, it's not a big deal because everything's going to be, you know, part of the agenda. But if you're not going, um, if you're not traveling with us, then just make sure you block it off on your calendar. The events are going to be pretty much mostly all day Friday and half day Saturday. Um, and there's so much good stuff. They're launching new products. There's going to be kits available to purchase that you, that are going to sell out and you can't purchase later. And I've seen previews of what they are. And they're awesome. So um, be ready with, to purchase, be ready to hop on, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, so conference next Friday, Saturday, make sure you've got childcare handled, whatever you need to do, but it's going to be really awesome. And you're going to want to check it out live time and have your phones ready because you're going to want to screenshot things and post them to IG and get excitement going. And it's a big deal. I'm really pumped up. And next year, hopefully we'll all be in person. Um, okay. So I want to talk about, I have the topic for today, but before I jump into that, I want to talk about challenge groups. So I'm actually going to share screen and show you guys what we're doing on IG because I know there's been a lot of questions and I want to show you an example of someone else that did a really good job on it. What that looks like. And just so you know, one of the reasons I want to do Instagram, I want to try it out, is I did notice that when people are checking into this challenge group, they have to go to their personal Instagram page. And like, let's say they show a picture of their vitamins. They have to go to their personal Instagram page, post it to their stories and tag the challenge group. So what ends up happening is all of that person's personal connections now see what they're doing and they start getting referrals. And then if they decide they want to work the business, they've already got all these people that want to join them. So it's almost like they act like their business owners before they even launch their business. It has them doing all of those activities. So let's see how it goes. I've never run one on Instagram before, but hey, there's a first time for everything. This is a gal in our gown line, Jenna Peterson, and she started this gut health girl gang. And as you can see here, every single day she has a welcome post, roll call, day one, day two, and that's the cleanse. And then she used the three phase program all the way up to the last day. And here she's got, so I'm creating ours right now. I'm still working on putting the rest of it together. It should be done tonight. Um, what you'll do is you can add anyone. You'll just say, hey, follow this page and I'll approve them who want to be included in here. But you can also include people who have not purchased yet. I'm okay with that because we want to get them excited and get them you know, pumped up to be a part of it. So you can definitely add people who have not purchased. I'm not going to have a Meology link here because I don't want to put my link. This is going to be for our team. Okay. Um, so we won't give that option. I might actually just make a Google doc that says, Hey, if you need to purchase, fill this out, who's your distributor, um, that kind of thing. I haven't decided what I'm going to put here. I may not even have a link, but either way, it will not be my info. Um, we'll have recipe start here couple other things like grocery lists. We'll have stuff like that. And every single day I'll have a post. Now I've made the decision to um, start the seven day cleanse this Monday because we've got a couple people that are starting, but I am not running another seven day cleanse next week for people that start late. You can tag them in that post though. So if they, I know Erica, like you've got a couple people that are going to start on the 27th. Um, you can say, Hey, here's the page. Just make sure you start on day one. And you can tag them in the day one post and say, this is your day one post, tag them in day two and kind of move them along through the process. And we absolutely still want them to share on their stories and all of that stuff and check in, but it would be really difficult for me to like have another day one pop in there. Right? So we're going to keep it. Um, you can just tag them in the appropriate post. The cool thing about this, if it goes well, and I think it will, is if you have someone starting the group at an off day, let's say someone purchases and we don't have a challenge group you can actually have them add themselves into here. And every single day you can either tag them or they can just follow along on their own. It's really easy. Do you see how easy it is to be like just laid out like this? So like, as you can see, day eight is the start of phase two. Um, today starts day one in our new phase two, that kind of thing. Um, you know, people comment, you can share in your stories what you're doing. So you can tag them in any of these posts. Any questions about this? So if, we're going to approve them. So it's going to be a private page. 
I'm going to approve everybody though. You're going to approve. Unless it's like a weirdo account or something. Well, but so when they share it on their stories and they're going to tag this page, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but their other friends aren't going to be able to. Their friends won't see this page, but they are going to see their post. The post. So we just want them to see the post. Okay. They're going to see their own post. So like, for example, if I go on my personal page and I put in a picture of my life shake and I tag wellness shot, which is our page, my followers will see it. Okay. They won't see anything else on the wellness check. Mm -hmm. That makes okay. sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions on how this is going to go? Okay. All right. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. I think we have a lot of opportunity on Instagram to have fun with this. Um, and hey, if we end up wanting to go back to Facebook, we can always do that. Um, the other group I'm running, which is the Shackley 180, I am going to push a week because as far as I know, not one person has it yet. Do any of your people have their packages yet that purchased mm -hmm. the 180? Two people ordered and they don't have it yet. They don't have it yet. Yeah. I maybe have one that might be arriving in the next few days, but I, there's no guarantee. So mm -hmm. we are definitely pushing that group because I can't really run a group with not a single person in it. Um, so we're for sure running, we're going to be pushing that group. Um, but the seven day cleanse will start Monday because I do have a couple people doing it. It's not a huge group, but it doesn't matter. I think we should just run with it. I don't want to hold those people back. Okay. All right. So I think we're all good to go on this. Um, like I said, this should be done tonight. So you guys can add yourselves to the one that I'm making. Um, okay. So today's topic is what I really wanted to show you was what do I do when I sit down to actually work my business? Um, first of all, I'm going to unshare. Wait, did I lose you guys? There you are. Share screen again. Okay, these are two trackers that I have. This one is the standard one that I made for our team. Um, I cannot stress enough how important it is to use a tracker. If you were daily just kind of going with the flow and doing things here and there, and you're wondering why your business isn't moving forward, I'm going to tell you the secret lies in using a consistent tracker. Um, it is something I did the year that my business really took off at my prior company, and I still do every single time I sit down to work my business today. Um, what I do is I actually print them out ahead of time for the week. I put them on a clipboard, and um, I make it a point to stick to my tracker. So the tracker I use, and you can tweak your tracker for what works for you, but I think it's really important that no matter what tracker you use, um, by the way, my voice is really soft because Zach is sleeping upstairs, but so I am excited. I just can't really be loud <laughs> or too, too, too energized. Um, it's, so I take, I didn't put this on my tracker, IG and Facebook stories because I don't sit at my desk and do those stories, but I like to have it here for someone that's maybe new to this business, right? To remind them shaken vitamins, energizing tea. For me, it's like, I already know that stuff and I don't really do that when I'm working my business, but for a new distributor, I think that's really important to make sure that they're on top of their Instagram and social media. Um, the things that you do daily, right? You should check your track, track back office every day. You should do personal development, take your shaken vitamins, check in with the challenge group. If, even if you're not running a challenge group, it is your responsibility to check in with a challenge group every single day. Um, check in with your active customers, someone that just purchased, someone that just started a challenge group, see how they're doing, and then check team empowered. Um, who took me allergy, right? Who, who are you having brand new combos with? Now I'm going to deep dive into brand new combos together and show you what I do, because I think I see with new leaders a lot of times, or even anyone doesn't have to be a new leader. Even for me, like sometimes where I get stuck is okay, but who do I have the combos with, right? That's where we can get a little stuck sometimes. Um, who took me allergy? Who are your new me allergy assessments? Who are you following up with today? And then next day planning to do brain dump is just like anything I have to get done. I just dump it. And then I get back. I, I prioritize it for the next day. The one I use for me is a little bit different, but I want to show you what mine is. So I have my goal for the day. I actually write down my cheat PGB every single morning. And I write down my goal for the month. I write down how many stars I have and how many stars I have goal for the month. And then my, my routine. So my personal development 
now that summer's in preschool, I always listen to it on the drive to get her. That just seems because I have like a 25 minute drive to her preschool. So I play my personal development. Um, I do gratitude and affirmations in the morning. We talked about it last week. How many of you, I'm not gonna hold you on the spot, but just, I hope that after the last time we talked, you're doing those, that gratitude and affirmations because I promise you it makes a huge difference. Um, my workout, I check my Shackley back office. I check my back office when I set these goals because I'm checking my PGD and my stars. Check in with a challenge group and I check in with all of you guys, my love shack crew. Um, then I have this bucket, which is like the important one. So current client check. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do when I, um, how do I check my current client? So I'll show you. Okay, so I go to my back office. Go to my business. You guys can see, oh no, you can't see, hold on. Can you see now? I still see the tracker. Huh, it says bring your video to the, oh, resume share. No, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna share, new share. Got, okay, so it makes me do like a new share. Hold on, sorry guys, okay. Okay, so I'm in my Shackley back office right now. And I'm gonna go to reports. And I am gonna pull up my personal group loyalty orders. That's how I check in with customers. And what I do, and I don't do this every day, I probably do it once or twice a week, max, once a week for sure, sometimes twice, is um, I reach out to, so what I do is I filter by dollar amount. And I wanna do dollar amount the opposite way. Okay, I'm gonna reach out to everybody that's on here. And so, oh, wait a minute, I'm also gonna filter, sorry, it doesn't let me do both unless I put it into Excel. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. I'm actually just gonna focus on one column. If I only had one column and I'm not filtering to Excel, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna reach out to anybody that's on here that is under a hundred. And I'm gonna say, hey, I leave a voice memo. It is so much faster to leave a voice memo than to type all of this out. Hey, Diana, I just wanted to let you know you've got $39 order this month coming out on 921. If you bump that up to a hundred, you're gonna earn loyalty dollars. Loyalty dollars are awesome because you can earn free product that way. You have to make sure that whatever you order is set to loyalty, but it doesn't have to be the same item. So if you choose Life Shake and Neology this month on loyalty, you're gonna get your points. The next month, you can easily pick something else. We have so many products, but try to find something in your house that you can replace with Shackley to spend $100 so you can earn points. Now, when you get to month seven of doing this over and over, you're gonna earn up to 15% cash, uh, Shackley back, Shackley dollars back. You're at 39 right now. What can I help you with? Is there anything that you've had your eye on that I can answer questions about? And I do this in a voice memo, so it's not like a huge message. I'm gonna do this for every single person that's under 100. Okay, now, if I have someone that has quite a bit and I haven't talked to them in a while, like right here, I literally did this two days ago, I'm leaving a different message. Hey girl, how have you been? I haven't talked to you in a while. I hope you're loving Shackley. I wanna thank you for being a loyal customer. Is there anything that I can you know, help you with? And I, I had like so many people respond back that I said that too, because they kind of fell off, but they're still ordering that were like, thank you so much for checking in. That means so much. Um, so I am reaching out, like I said, two things, anyone who's under a hundred and then anyone who I haven't talked to recently to check up on them and see how they're doing. So that's what I'm doing for client stuff. Okay, under work activities is email blast. I don't send an email blast every day, not even. I'm happy if I can do once a week. Um, create Facebook IG content. Sometimes, like I wash my hair today, I actually will like grab a camera and maybe take five pictures in a few different shirts so that the rest of the week, if I want to do a post, I have some stuff to work off of, okay? So um, I do like to do that on certain days of the week. It's just like get some branding type stuff done. Birthday messages. That I need to do because on work days, when I come home from work, I'm too mentally tired to want to take a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I learned that back in like 2015 when I first started Beachbody on my work days. It, and then I used to teach Pio afterwards. I'm like, I'm coming home hungry and I just want to make dinner. 
And the last thing I want to do is like take a photo right now. Yeah. Like the end and of the day, I just look worn down. And yeah, yeah. so and that's like when today, your family wants your attention too. It, yeah, exactly. You don't want to say that like snapping selfies. So today's a perfect day. Like, you know, you're, you've got your hair done, you've got your makeup on. Not that you have to look perfect in all your photos, but it, all I'm saying is like, do it when you have the time. So even if you're like, I want to take photos, you know, in my workout clothes and my hair up, take a couple and change your outfit real quick. Like just change your top and take a few of them because you'll have so much more content to work with than having to like in the moment, come up with something. Um, birthday messages, go to your Facebook. I have that on here because that one actually helps me quite a bit. Go to your Facebook, see whose birthday it is and send them a message. Hey, happy birthday. How have you been? Do you have anything fun planned today? That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm starting a conversation with people whose birthday it is. Now, this is the highlight on mine. It says Doe CRM or Brain Book. Doe is a CRM tool. I'm not going to talk about it today because I don't think you guys need to do that right now because this is a game changer. Unless someone's like super techie and doesn't want to use paper and pencil, let me know and I'll, I'll refer you to Doe. But my Brain Book, Kristen, do you remember my Brain Book? I have one for every single year. Kristen remembers this from Beachbody. This is like my life. And I have one for every single year that I've had my own business. This is a book that is sectioned off. The very first section is prospects. The second section is, it says coach prospects, but it's really leader prospects. But that's because when I started 2021, I was still a beach body. But next year's will change to distributor prospects. But you know what I mean? Those are business builders. Um, and then the back just has like notes and training stuff and those are the two most I used to have more tabs I don't really use my other tabs anymore but these are the two tabs let me tell you how I work this so remember that section where it said um conversations right who are you talking to this is under prospects I'm going to flip to a new page I get a blank page out I am going to go to my Facebook I am going to pull up all the one time. I'm going to pull up my page and I am going to scroll to a post. I'm not going to do a post. Did you guys know we could pin posts, by the way? I pinned this post. I didn't on your Facebook. I am going to go to this is. I can do this one. Let's see. I have a feeling there's a lot of Shackley people, but I'll try and see if I can find any of them here. Jessica Clark, is she Shackley? I'm going to look at mutual friends to figure that out. Um, oh, no, that's a person from my old work. Perfect. So, oh, I know who that is. She changed her last name. Okay. I'm going to write her name down. This is Mary's client. Mary's on here. Um, Shackley. Okay. I had a feeling I'd get a lot of Shackley people on that one. That's okay. But you know what? Let me check. Meg is not Shackley, but we kind of talked about it, but this will be a great chance to follow up. Okay. Um, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. All right. I'm going to go to this post now. Let's see. And as you guys can see, I hope you realize like, it's not like I've got millions of people to pick from either. Like it is kind of light. Um, Jamie. Oops, okay. Maria Diaz, is she Shackley? Nope, perfect, okay. I think everybody else is Shackley. Okay, so I've got some people here. I'm gonna keep doing this, but then what I'm also going to do, I'm gonna go over to my Instagram. And I'm just gonna make a little note, like draw a line so I know these ones underneath the line are Instagram. And I'm gonna pull up my oldest story and I'm gonna scroll through my stories and see who I can write down from here. Now, this is my goal. I don't always accomplish it, but I try to fill up an entire page. I wanna get 26 names on here, okay? Okay, is it is it weird that I wanna scroll up and see what you posted about Disney? <laughs> I'm like trying to scroll up. I'm like, what did she post? <laughs> yeah, because we're both so. Disney free. Because we're Disney, totally Disney freaks are so funny. Um, now, I could get names from this one too, actually. I like to pick my business posts first because I know those people are watching me. But this would actually be one that works because I can totally message them and thank them for the tips. So like this person has never commented on any of my stuff before. 
perfect person to write down. Even though it's not Shackley related, my, my priorities are the Shackley ones, but that's okay. This is still a really good one because like I said, we've never talked before. So I'm totally going to write her name down. So okay. what's the appropriate amount of time, like from the time you posted that to when you would message her? You know, when, you would do it like way. So late. it has nothing to do with appropriate for them. What it has to do with is I don't want to use a really recent post because it's still getting followers. I want to use a post that's been up for a couple of days or a week or just at least three to five days so that I'm pretty sure this post is done getting new comments. And it's still soon enough that she remembers, like it's a week, okay. but I probably wouldn't go like a month back, right? Okay. Um, now the difference though is with this one, I'm going to bring up the post. With these folks, I'm actually not. I mean, I might, I haven't really decided. And I want to show you guys, there's no like, the, the, the reason people struggle with this sometimes is there's no word track. I used to always message and say, thanks for the post love. I actually try to stay away from that unless I can't think of anything else. So I'll show you guys what I do. I'm going to go over to the first person. Now, when I write down a full 26, I am going to set my timer for 30 minutes. That is really cutting it close, but here's why I do that. Because I want zero distractions. I want to be on a mission. And if one of these people responds to me, guess what I don't do? I don't respond back till the 30 minutes is up. So I'm going to message. I'm going to go to Jessica Clark's page. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go to her page. She just got married. I know that. Um, uh, let's see. I don't see any posts on here that are like something I would comment on. Let me check her stories. She doesn't have any stories. Okay, so that's kind of what I look for. I'm gonna shoot her a message. Um, I'm not gonna do it on the, on the call with you guys right now because. I actually have just messaged her like recently. I've already done this one. I'm just showing you. But um, I messaged her about her wedding because I know that she just got married. Um, but I am going to do one together with you because actually this one I have not done. Tanya. And this is this is one that I don't even know at all. So this will be like a great chance to um, show you. Okay. So she'll be, wow, she's a grandma. There's no way. Look at her. That's incredible social business owner. So she works for someone. She's, she's like in social media. Huh. Right. And she's enjoy. Okay. She's, Oh, what company does she work in? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if she has any stories. She does, which is great. I actually prefer stories to anything else because it's real time. Well, wow. who goes out for a walk looking that good? I'm going to totally comment and be like, you look really pretty to be going on a walk. Um, okay, I'm going to kind of go through it first. Maybe she's with, what's that company that liquid collagen? It's that Snap Collagen. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Okay, she's like totally my kind of person like I, I like her vibe she's like got fun videos like I have so much opportunity to comment now so I'm gonna go back I don't know what happened. let me go back to her main page and try again view story uh, why am I struggling because I usually do this on my phone <laughs> okay I'm trying to reply Okay, it's not letting me. So I'm just gonna, what I would say for the sake of our presentation, that's fine. I do, I am really excited to message this gal now. Okay, so I'm gonna message her and I'm totally just gonna be like, wow, I, I wish I looked that good when I went out for a walk, you know, or you look beautiful to be going on a walk or something because it's extremely genuine. That was the first thing I thought when I saw it was like, she looks really pretty to be going out on a walk, but maybe it's like, oh, she's working or something, whatever it is. But um, she's also someone I'm totally gonna highlight because like everything about her, I feel, right? Like, I feel like I would like this person in real life. So I'm going to just keep an eye on her from now on. That means like, if she posts, I'm going to watch her stories. If she um, comments on something, like I want to pay attention to her. Okay. Does that all make sense? How I talk to people. So that's how I come up with my list of 26. And then um, it makes it so much easier where it says on there just to have conversations. Like those conversations 
you, you don't have to sit there wondering all day long, like, who am I going to message? There are times where I can't get 26. Like literally the only people watching me are the same people I messaged yesterday. It's all Shackley people. And that happened. So here's what I do. If I find myself like there's literally nobody for me to message. I'm going to go to my phone. And if you guys have your phones, you can follow along or you can just listen up. So I go to my phone and I go to my Facebook Messenger. And do you see where it says chats? And on the bottom right, it says people. Okay, so I'm gonna click on people. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and see if there's anybody here that I can comment on their stories that I don't know. And then I'm gonna do something else. So we did stories. You're gonna go and you're gonna comment. A lot of the people are people you probably already know and that's okay. But see if you can find anyone there. Then I'm gonna click on active. Do you guys see active? How many people does it say are active? Mine says 78. Okay. This is a little time consuming, but it also works. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on Joanne. She's active right now. I'm gonna send Joanne a message and just, and I'll do it right now with you guys. Hey, you saw you were active and it's been forever. Or I'm going to say saw you on here. And it's been forever since we've chatted. How have you been? Now that only works with people, you know, um, with the active, I usually just message the folks I know that I haven't talked to in a while. Okay. Now Instagram stories, like I said, this is when I cannot get 26 people like to talk to go to your Instagram stories right now scroll all the way over all the way all the way all the way all the way as far as you can I mean oops yeah keep scrolling okay so it keeps going forever but you know scroll so that the reason we're scrolling is we're trying to find the people that you don't see regularly and start clicking on people's stories and send some messages. Sometimes you're gonna get some weird ones, like people's weird stories. Well, they're not my people, so I'm not sending them a message. I'm gonna keep going. Um, like someone right now that I follow is, um, is showing pictures of their golden doodles. And I think golden doodles are adorable, you know? So I'm just gonna send a quick little message. Okay, any questions? Okay, so what I do, I write 26 names down. Those are the people I'm gonna to talk to. If I can't get to 26, then I need to get some fresh eyes on my stuff. So what I do is I'm gonna comment on people, talk to people, find people to talk to, okay? And sending a message is just as simple as, hey, how are you? Like I am not inviting to anything, exactly. Now, this is the other thing that's really important. Like my IG stories today, yesterday were really off. Like I'm like, it was one of my off days. Like I did not post as much as I should. I'm trying to pick it back up today. But if you go on my IG, I literally only have two stories. And if it, it's of Zach's lunch, a breakfast. Okay. I don't have the best IG stories right now. Probably not the time I want to message people, but that's okay. I can fix it really quickly. I'm going to do a quick little post in a little bit about my myology today. Then I will message people. Why? Because when you message people that haven't talked to you in a while or don't know you very well, what is the first thing they do? They go and they scope out your profile and your stories and they want to check you out. Make sure you have something there. So I don't need to invite or bring up Shackley because my social media is doing that work for me. And what's going to happen is this, it takes, it's, it's a cycle that you've put this person through now. So I reach out today and I, and I chat with them. Facebook or Instagram now know that we are friends. They're like, oh, they have conversations. We're going to put your stuff in front of each other. So in a week, so let's say the next couple of days when I'm doing my, and I only do this list of 26, like twice a week, you guys, I, I used to do it more. I don't think you need to do it that aggressive. I think if you do it twice a week, you are solid doing it more than that. You're just going to have the same people pop up, but what's going to happen is next week when I go to do my list of 26, you know, who's probably going to, and I look to see who's been commenting on my stories or who's been watching my stories or who has been, um, commenting on my post. Guess who's going to show up that person that you talked to a week ago because now you are visible to each other. So then the second time I chat with them, maybe maybe at that point I do do an invite. I kind of just feel where the vibe is and see if it feels right. 
And you do have to kind of get to the point where you enjoy having conversations with people. So it doesn't feel like a struggle of what to say. There's no word track with this because it is super authentic. There is no, when should I invite? You should invite when it feels right, right? If that person and you develop a bond, they may bring it up first, but your conversations with them cannot be when so focused on when you can get a sale. It's never going to go in the right direction. It just has to be focused on building a relationship with someone who you feel like you've got a good vibe with and who knows when it's going to move forward. But uh, if you keep doing it, you're going to have enough people that move forward. Yeah, Erica. Um, something that I've noticed when I've ever like sent a message to like a bigger account or like, you know, somebody who does this that has a lot of followers mm -hmm. and you can see that they're really successful, they never, in, they never send me an invite. It's always a genuine comment to whatever I'm asking. Right. Right. That's so true. And, and that really goes to show you, like it's it, building your network is not about just trying to get a sale. It really is just a genuine response back and building a relationship. And because here's the thing, if someone wants a weight loss product, there's 2 million out there. They don't need your invite. I can tell you that right now, mm -hmm. but when they do want a weight loss product, they are going to go with the person who they feel that they can trust. And if you've built that relationship, you are so much more likely that they're going to trust you and want to move forward with you when the time comes or whatever it is, start a business or use skincare products or whatever that is. Um, so I am not messaging any of these people to talk about Shackley, but if they're seeing my story, some of them bring it up first. I've really had it happen to me. It's like, oh, by the way, since you messaged me, I wanted to ask you about that shake. Like, then you're like, oh, that was cool. You know, and when that happens, it's just an extra little gift. I don't think of it as my goal ever. So okay. if, I, if I slow down, because a lot of the messages I've been sending since I've started is like, hey, I've started this new thing. I'm super excited. Will you take this quiz and tell me what you think? It's been four months. And I feel like when I go through like, okay, I've messaged not everybody, but a lot of people I've sent yeah. that message and they've either ignored it, responded to it, taken the quiz. So now do you feel like I'm at a point where I can slow the roll on that? Yeah. So that's how you always want to start. Uh -huh. When I came to Shackley, I, I absolutely aggressively messaged every single person in my contacts that I knew, not, not in my, con like not my entire IG, but like people that I had relationships with. And I told them all about Shackley and you, Erica and Kristen, that's what I did. Right. It was like, I'm, I want to tell everybody that I know. But when your, um, when your warm market starts to fizzle a little bit, then you move to this method. Now, this method still includes your warm market because here's what's going to happen. If you see someone from that list that you created that you messaged about myology, and let's say they never took their myology, but they pop in on your 26 list, perfect. They're watching you still. So just reach out and say something else. Don't even bring up myology right now reach out and, Hey, I saw your name pop up on my post. Just wanted to say, hi, it's been a while. How have you been? You know, thank you for the support as always, you know, something like that. Um, or comment on their post. Another thing to fill up your 26, don't forget your Facebook story views. So to fill up your 26, it can come from IG story views, Facebook story views, people who've liked your posts on IG or Facebook, people who've commented, um, any of that works. That feels good. Yeah. Me and Kristen used to come over back in the day and we would just set the timer. We'll have to do mm -hmm. a team meeting one day and do this all together. Yeah. And we would just like hammer out 26 at the same time. And it, I mean, we'd put on, um, do you remember we used to put on like piano music? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I, I like it. We need to do music. that. I need that focus. It's we so funny. It one day. Um, Maybe on a Friday, we'll do a team a yeah. ch chat in person. So mm -hmm. I've been reaching out to this one girl who I think would be awesome on our team. She's ignored every single one of my messages. And then she messages me this morning. She said, Hey, um, do you guys still have that carpet cleaning business? <laughs> we need our floors cleaned. I'm like, yeah, we do. <laughs> so funny. It's I so, it. I mean, I was looking through it. There were like five unread messages, even voice messages. And then she, so, Hey, you better go with Brian when he cleans. I know. Right. So hey, you can how's it going? <laughs> Seriously. Um, that's so funny. And it just goes to show you, it's not that people don't like you. Obviously she wants to give you business. It's just that if it doesn't fit in her life right now, right this minute, it's, it's not going to be something she's going to respond to. So you can't take it personally. Um, when I do message someone on the 26th list and they don't respond and then they show up on my list, like two weeks, three weeks later, you know, I do message them again. I don't take it personally. You can absolutely message them again. 
Um, I will tell you this method um, took me to the rank that I wanted to hit in my last company. It had people on my team. Those of you from Beachbody, like I will tell you guys, they were hitting SC 20 month after month following this method. Um, Kristen, I know you can vouch for it. When you do it, it works. It really does. The minimum has to be two. I would never do it more than four times a week. I would say two to three is like solid. And that's about it. Um, because you are hitting up a lot of people, which is great, but you've got to set your timer. You don't get in your head. If you can't fill 20, you guys saw me trying to get 26 names right now. Like there's tons of posts that got nobody. It doesn't matter. Like I will find a way to get it. And if I can't, then I'm going to go out and have some combos. Um, but the process absolutely works. Like I have stuck to this since 2016 and it has never failed me when I do it, it works. Um, so make a commitment for twice a week. If you have one day off, like you do Erica, and you've got to, you're like, I could hammer out two pages of 26. I'd rather do an hour on a Friday than do a Tuesday, then do that. That's mm -hmm. fine. I've done that in the past too, where it's like, well, I can do, but, but don't do them back to back. Give yourself a break. Uh -huh. Do 30 minutes in the morning do 30 minutes and evening. You can hit 26 people in 30 minutes. It's if you can get the list out, you cannot respond to anyone though. You can respond later. You can respond later, but don't get caught up in conversations and not hit the 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. That feel good. Yes. I love this. I love this method. I will go back to it forever. Like it is with new folks. I want them to get their list of 40 and hit their warm market first. But after you get past that, when you start feeling like my, my market is dying, all that, no, it's not. You just need a new method. Mm -hmm. And it really does work. Okay. Awesome. I'm so glad that was helpful. I will send you guys these trackers. Um, I'll take my name off of the other one. So you can, it can just be blank. And then um, you guys can tweak it. Todd Zach is sleeping. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Do not wake the sleeping baby. My <laughs> thirteen feet are dead. <laughs> All right, you guys. So good to see your faces. It's the highlight of my day. I swear. Like I really do look forward to this. I'm not even just today, yes. but like I look forward to all week. Oh, let me get, um, a, let me get a... Erica, you're gonna stay on, right? <sighs> Yeah, okay. I can, yeah the I need to start meeting. putting myself together before these meetings. I always go for a walk and then I'm a disaster and you take pictures. I, I wish I was like great. great. I, 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 I wish always I like you. I know. I'm like, Kristen, As a disaster. So good. I need to do my hair. And put You're so funny. <laughs> do you remember my first one? <laughs> okay, let me get a good. Let's see. Okay. I don't even know where to look. I like. I know. I just never look do. straight ahead. So your eyes well, are wide open. <laughs> I'm always looking down at my phone. <laughs> okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Can you guys see it? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, Erica, we're going to stay on, right. To talk about your IG live first. If yeah. you want to stay on Kristen, you can, and then we can do yours um, maybe next week. It's up to you, but we're going to practice it right now. Um, so the one I sent yesterday is really just a, um, did, Did you see the last honey? Yeah. Did it have any? Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, this is on record. I'm going to stop recording. 